Is this Boko worth a second look? I definitely think so, if you're looking for something good, but not too expensive. Hi guys, Alina here. Welcome back to Need to Know, the special edition. It's the last day of IFA. It went super fast, right? But not as fast as it happens when you're on the trade show floor. My teammates at Tech the Lead can vouch for that. We've seen some cool audio stuff. Headphones, earbuds, soundbar, an impressive TV, a couple of projectors and kitchen appliances. So, you gotta wonder, what's left to talk about? IFA's not a show where you go for phones, true. There's the MWC for that. But in this hush-hush context, companies took a leap of faith. Samsung happened to have a second unpacked event just before IFA started and Realme announced their new line in India right these days. So what if it launches first in India? We've heard the phones are coming to Europe, especially since Realme showed their love for the old continent coming for the first time to Berlin this year. Brave fellows! So, what's the new line all about? Two premium phones at ridiculously low prices. The Realme 7 and 7 Pro are the smart mix of mid-range chips with flagship features and eye-catching cameras. Pretty vague, right? So. Let's talk honestly. The Realme has an LCD screen, while the Pro comes with an OLED, but in terms of refresh rate, the vanilla version actually takes the cake with 90Hz, while the Pro sticks to 60Hz. Weird choice? You betcha! Still. Realme said they listened to the users and hey, a lot of them wanted an OLED instead of an LCD, even if the refresh rate didn't move up. And I get it, honestly, you don't really need 90Hz when you're not playing games or going for mind-numbing ones when you get a chance. You can count on 6 to 8 GB of RAM for both of them with up to 128 GB of storage. Not bad at all. Especially since you've got a micro SD slot to help with the extra space needed. Unlike many phones now, they do come with a headphone jack, so there's that. Another thing they have in common is resistance to water splashes, although, don't ask me about IP rating, they're not IP certified. And here's where all the similarities stop. The Pro runs on the Snapdragon 720G chip, while the standard one ships with the Helio G95, which is slightly better, ironically. Main cameras are about the same, with the Pro counting on a better selfie shooter at 32 megapixels. The Pro also hid the fingerprint scanner under the display, while the vanilla ones keep it on the side. So yeah, there are reasons why Realme calls this 6.4-incher Pro. That includes stereo speakers on the Pro and a more powerful, faster battery charging. We're talking 65-watt Super Dart charging, which will get your 4,500 mAh juiced up in half an hour. At the opposite side, we're seeing a 5,000 mAh battery on the Realme 7 with a 30-watt charging. Like I said, the way Realme mixed and matched these parts and features is a bit weird, but I guess they do want to please everyone about everything. And what's wrong with that? Especially at an under 300 euros price. Yes, the Realme Pro with 8 gigabytes of RAM will sell for 255 euros, while the Realme will be out for 195 euros. Great price, I know, but remember, Realme's price on the Indian market? Not at all high. So, honestly, we don't expect much of a raise for the European market. Pocophone, on the other hand, missed IFA completely. It's only after the dust settles down when they're gonna launch the X3. On September 7, to be more exact. Why next Monday? Because the X3 is coming with the latest Qualcomm chip, the 732G. It was just announced these days at IFA. It's a bit of an upgrade to the 730 with a higher clock speed and better graphics. Is this Poco worth a second look? I definitely think so, if you're looking for something good, but not too expensive. It's got four cameras after all, with a 64 megapixel main one, 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 of storage. There's no word on a micro SD slot right now, because at that amount, I think you'll need it. Or they'll offer a Plus Pro version too, with a bit more storage. Not sure yet, but stay tuned. Next week, we'll cover the launch on the Tech the Lead website. What I'm gonna say now is that you can count on a Poco X3 with a 6.67 inches LCD screen with, drum roll please, a 120Hz refresh rate, a 20 megapixel selfie camera too, and a battery of over 5100mAh. That's the biggest battery we've seen on a Poco phone. 
team ain't kidding. I can't tell you much about the availability now, but we have heard of a rumored price, 190 euros. Another price I can get behind. How about you? Which phone around the IFA event are you excited about? The Realme or the Poco phone? Tell us in the comments and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. Stay safe, guys.